the G Way Podcast with Deacon Dirty. So we, we we mentioned in triggers. Do you have any triggers? What's your trigger? Do we all have triggers? Are you supposed to have a trigger? Is that a thing in life for everyone? Or I don't think we're supposed to. We just we, we just, just have do. Them. We just have them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they could come from like a lot of therapists tell you. They start well. Just tell me about your childhood. A lot of it starts from there. Yeah. yeah, I you know I'm big on let's when I talk to folks or when I'm just thinking about things I always think about well let's go back to the childhood let's see what what has occurred here and then when and again this going back to childhood does not necessarily mean that you have to have been molested physically abused um, you know the the uh, I'm trying to think of something traumatic you know what I mean it didn't have to it don't have to be that. I mean, you could have been the black sheep of the family. You've been told no a lot. You could have been called stupid every day. So, uh, now, you, so now as an adult, you want everything. Right? Right. So don't tell me nothing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who said it? Who said I can't have it? It says the emergency exit only. Who said I can't go out the door? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to go back to Will Smith, but yeah. you remember in Hancock when they called him an a-hole? That he was said, his don't call me. Yeah. That was his trick. That's a good one, dude. You're right. <laughs> There it is. So, do, do you have a trigger? What's your trigger? Do you? Yeah, don't call me a hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one. <laughs> well, I've never called you that. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're good, man. We good money. Um, <laughs> do I have? Tr- um, I'm pretty much a. I'm, I'm a. You've been knowing me for a while now. Uh, oh now. six. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A decade and a half. Yeah. And some change. And a few pennies. And a few pennies. <laughs> Few pences. Right. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> kind sir. <laughs> uh, I'm 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 pretty much chill. I'm like laid back, man. I don't, I don't get into too much stuff. I'm like mm-hmm. I, I stay in my lane, you know. Drink my water and mind my business. I'm, yeah, I'm a pretty good CDL driver. I stay in my, <laughs> stay in my lane. Mm-hmm. Man. And uh, yeah, I don't, just don't you know just I don't give off that energy like I you know. You know, I saw sometimes people can give off this real crazy, like, caffeinated energy. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not me. I'm, like, the total opposite. Right, so, right. Like, um, that's like, the you, scary part, you, though. You, you attract what you think about or whatever, whatever how they, they go. I whatever. got you, yeah. That's why I'm, like, I'm naturally like this. I'm mm-hmm. just even killed. I'm just. <laughs> right, right. I'm a warm bath. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this feels just right. <laughs> you're, you're, you're Goldilocks. <laughs> now, now, now I know lots of times we can't, you know, de- you know, decide or determine how our what day the trigger may be or, or how our day is going to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. But for the most part, I, when I leave the house, I'm like, okay, this is going to be me for twenty the next mm-hmm. twenty three right. hours. Today you know? going to be a good day. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a good day. Mm-hmm. It's going to be like you. Right. Every day I leave the house, I want to, that's, that's me in the green Impala. That's me. <laughs> just waking up, <laughs> got to thank God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But, but just they're like, like what uh, Melly Mel said, don't push me. Yeah. Don't do that. Like, well, I'm see, good. if we're going back, that was probably a Will Smith moment. I'm yeah. close to the. Remember, I kept saying, if I'm I tell you, I keep telling you. to lose my head. Right. <laughs> I'm about to jump off. If I get to that cliff, I'm going to jump. And we. So, With no you know. Bungee. What you said, don't push me. I'm close to that edge. We don't know uh, when, where people are in their snap. You know what I mean? That's why I don't come at people crazy. I do not. I refuse. Because I don't know to. where they are. I don't you know, know your snap, dude. Yeah. And I don't. I, I'm not in that. And I don't want to be the. the Recipient, the happy recipient. You know? <laughs> I don't want to be the recipient of it because, uh, heck, you know, <coughs> excuse me. Um, there are plenty of people that caught somebody else's L just by being in the wrong just place. Be- exa- <laughs> well, we saw it, it was at the Oscars. Yeah, he Chris Rock Ooh. caught somebody else's L, bro. Yeah. That was somebody else's slap. That wasn't for him. Unfortunately, he had to be the <laughs> pun not intended, but intended the face of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, something triggered him. Yeah. Um, it could it could it could have been. Will has seen Jada's face, that look on her face, one time before. He knew what that meant, and he knows what it means. Yeah. That's why I said when we was talking off air, you know, when you're talking to your lady, when you in a crowded room, y'all can look at each other and be like, 
Oh, he lying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you ain't said not one word to each other, but the spokesman is oh, lying. Oh, say something. Oh, he ready to go. You're right. You know that body language. Yeah, you want me to come over and save you, him real You want quick. me to get you out of this situation? Yeah, we, got, we about to leave. Uh, uh, they want you over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You just know the... You, 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 you should anyway. You've mm. been around a person long enough. Me and you, dude. We good. We got good guests money. to come on the show. They say something. I ain't got. I can still be looking at them, and I can feel. <laughs> you throw me the lob and I'll dunk it. Right. <laughs> and I say, I know what he's thinking. I'm going to just kind of go give a little head nod or lay my head just a little bit, and then we already we are like, I'm way ahead of you, dude. <laughs> so it's that kind of thing. So I, I think he's seen that look before. And it triggered him. He's seen that look before. Like I'm pretty sure for myself, I, I was don't. I ask you that. What What are some of your triggers? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. If you have any. Well, I'm sure I had them. I would not say that I didn't because I I was angry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was bitter. <laughs> I was. This wasn't long, long ago. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like I'm talking about when I was 17. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sure I would. I started probably when I was 17, and it lasted a long time that I or till Christ. And then he started pulling that stuff out of me. But I walked around angry. I was bitter and I was mad, but I didn't know who. So anybody could get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's how it usually works. I think that's a lot of people, right. especially young black men walking around today. I, I don't want to even say that. Yeah. I just think people, people who, period, yeah. just walk around yeah, people, angry. You're right. People. Yeah, and you, anybody can get it. That's why the smallest of arguments can turn big. It can be Sarah at the office. You say the wrong thing. Man, there was this, I was telling uh, somebody. Sarah going to go off. Right. <laughs> Speaking of that, tell us somebody the other day, uh, this is back up in D.C. I was working at this spot, uh, uh, insurance company. And um, there was this woman, she was quiet, you know, to kind of come in and good morning and go do her work. She don't talk to nobody. <laughs> she just kind of said it, you know, one of the ones that sat at the lunch table by herself. She's like, she don't bother nobody. Get her tuna sandwich. Qu- <laughs> quiet, <laughs> quiet, until one day somebody ate her cookies. And you're talking about all Hades that broke loose. Up in that office. <laughs> she was like Eve in a barbershop. Went off. Who drank my <laughs> apple juice? <laughs> Went off. The side of the woman that was so quiet, small, petite, didn't bother nobody, wore the glasses, the ponytail. You know that 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 look, that the librarian. librarian yeah. Right. And went the freak off, dude. And uh, I think we learned that day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, hey, if y'all gonna eat anything, <laughs> now I did. I only heard about it. I, I don't mess with people stuff like that. But <laughs> you know what? That lady, she probably can't work every day. And the highlight of her day was her eating, her, her lunch. getting her cookies, getting her cookies, <laughs> and somebody killed her joy, yeah. so to speak. You know, so she was like, <laughs> "How dare you?" Like, somebody's got to pay. So yeah, so I, I I'm sure I, I, I I've had quite a few triggers, but mine's if I'm going to look at it and see where I am based on where where I am now, based on where I was, where I feel like the triggers were there, and I think that if there's any that exist, they're so deeply embedded that you know it would take a whole lot to get them to appear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like because I don't know what it would be, but mine's and you. We had these conversations multiple times. Uh, in fact, earlier today, uh, mine's always centered around my father. And so once that got resolved, I came. I was good. I've been a good. I've been a good boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I've been a bad boy, but I've been a good boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't bother nobody, man. I don't look. I never trouble trouble unless trouble troubles trouble, me, trouble. man. I remember that. Remember yeah, man. I don't. I don't. I don't want no problems. I don't want to fight nobody. I'm too grown to be sitting in somebody's jail. I got too much to lose. I like being just. I like liking people. I like, I like being free. I like being free. I don't want you yelling in my face because you mad. That's you mad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Find a mannequin. Find a you know. Go get a dummy and you mad? Get an Everlast bag or something. Do something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go go get some therapy. Yes. That, that's yes. on facts, on facts, on facts. We talked, again, I've told you, I've gone to counseling. I've Let's get your couch time I've on. gotten, you know, tell me what's going on with me, doc. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to know. Fix it, right. Or what I got to do to fix it. You know what I mean? Because most of the time, you got to do the work. 
You know what I mean? You they just helping you identify it. Taking notes. Yeah, you know, and you like, yeah, okay. I never even thought of it that way. Give me a what's that? A Rorschach test. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I see a, a a butterfly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, me murdering somebody? You know, <laughs> like you got problems. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, no. So my triggers, if I had them, they were it all centered around father. Uh, not that you could really even really say anything to me like about it that would make me want to fight because I would just want to fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it, it was easy to do it because anger, bitterness, and just mad at anything. Who want it? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it not, not <laughs> didn't help none when my cousin used to, when I used to go, shout out to my cousin Don, I used to go out to Southeast D.C. and he had me fighting everybody just on GP. Yeah, he got my little cousin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and go. you right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? He take us right out to the field, you know what I'm saying? Or, was he betting on you? <laughs> no, he just used to, whatever he whatever junk he talked while I wasn't there, he wanted me to prove it when I got there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so I always had to go around so he was here. like pulling him out. <laughs> right, and that's what I have to do. Yeah, remember all that stuff you said about my little cuz? You know what I'm saying? About my cuz? My little cuz, that's what he was saying. My little cuz? Yeah, here you go right there. Well, where your little cousin at? And I'd be like, here I go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm right here. You know what I'm saying? Ding, ding, ding. Right. <laughs> and then the next year, you know, we scrapping. Somebody that I don't even have no beef with, bro. Not whatsoever. So he probably put a little fuel you on it. You ever look at back at that and think, that was toxic. It was very toxic. <laughs> very toxic. Very toxic and very childish. You know what I mean? <laughs> but when you when you know what you know. You know what I'm saying? And you do what you know. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And, I, you know, I didn't know no better. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know not to say, hey, man. <laughs> I don't want to fight. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I didn't know not to say no. I just knew to throw your hands up. You know what I'm saying? Because they had you in the fight club. You know what I mean? The fight club didn't even, I probably got paid every time I, you know what I mean? Whatever point that I made. You know what I'm saying? So who knows? But, so yeah, but the triggers, they could have, it probably was anything. Because again, when you're mad and angry, anything can set you off. It may be take, sometimes it may take more things than others. Uh, and some people got more specific triggers. And speaking of which, um, but the past, what, where were we in, like, year three now of the pandemic? Yeah. The, or the two and a half years? Yeah, whatever. two and a half. I think um, a lot of people's triggers have become more heightened and, and they're more sensitive yeah. now because of this, whatever it, it Cause, is. Because life is, is is so, what's the word? Not unexpected, but so unsure. Yep. Like, yep. <clears throat> is my job secure now? You know my what I mean? Health. <laughs> is my health secure? You done lost people? Yeah. You know, and there's people who lost people. You know what I'm saying? Families. Not just they a person, but people. A couple of families. Yeah. yeah During this, this uh, two and a half years, man. And <laughs> those things could be, uh, could um, trigger some PTSDs in people, you know, different things. Um, uh, comedian Steve Brown was here the other day, and uh, shout out to you, uh, funny dude. Um, he mm-hmm, was he dude. was here for another podcast, and uh, he talked about his trigger when he saw the w- Will Smith thing. Cause that, that's right, we were talking earlier because I remember seeing the clip. Somebody ran up on him at one of his at shows. a comedy show, yeah. Um, and you know, uh, he said so when he saw that it it triggered him. Mm. Um. He said if it had not been for like his because he had been taking boxing training, so he knew how to move that he knew how to move. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but nobody mentioned this part that he had said the other day. He said, no, but nobody we, we didn't know that a woman nose got broken um, and something else happened to another woman because the base of the microphone stand flew off Woo. and hit someone. Wow. So those are things that we didn't know when the pole broke, it cut him. On his arm, so he had to get a stitch or a stitch, a couple of stitches here in his arm, and uh, <clears throat> then he said the last hit, last swing, or whatever. When it hit him, finally hit him in the hip. He said the dude just stopped and walked off like it didn't even happen. Almost like what uh, um, Forrest Gump. I don't want to run no more. <laughs> like just stopped. He said just like that. He walked away. Wow. So it's almost like the guy finally got what he wanted. He got to get something off. And what he wanted was 
whatever was in need to get off and it had to hit something in order to get off you know what i mean uh get out of him and then he went to normal and i think they escorted him out no yeah they did they, i think he left they didn't call the police no, that's right. Maybe they did because he says he's in jail right now. Okay. He kept saying he's in jail right now. He says, but ever since that, he had been, what the part that had been messing him up with the PTSD was, is this dude in my house? He's in, and he kept repeating it. He's in jail right now. When I get out of my car, I look around to see who's in my bushes. Is this dude going to jump out the bushes? He's in jail right now. So in other words, it's still playing in his head. And certain things can do that, you know, can mess with you because you're thinking that you know you know it, but your mind, you know what I'm saying, will play it out differently. I think a lot of us may unknowingly suffer from that. Absolutely. Because even though we're both from two different cities, you from around the way, I'm Mm -hmm. from around the way. Right, right, right. Seen a few things. You act differently, you know, stuff stemming from growing up around this. Yeah, yeah. You keep your head on a swivel. You got your, your mm-hmm. peripheral, you know. You got your, your kit car lights yeah. eyes going on. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, you, you, you got your wits about you because you don't know mm-hmm. what's, what could or couldn't happen. Right. You want to be ready, mm-hmm. you know. So, I guess going back to Oscar night, Chris thought he was in a safe environment, which he was. He was in a safe place, yeah, of you course. Know, but he didn't know he wasn't at that moment. Now we don't know what's going to start triggering him. We don't even know if it triggered something in him. Yeah. Like, from that day, yeah, yeah. you know, could he remember something from a, some dude that tried to fight him the last time? You get what I'm saying? Did it trigger yeah. something now? You can't even, like, say boo, you know. <laughs> like, like, you're too close, bro. Yeah, Relax. So, you know I just, yeah, I, I'm kind of <laughs> like that, too. If I don't know you, like, and you start walking up on me, and and I look at you, and nothing comes to mind. Like, I don't remember you. Mm-hmm. Like, if I remember you, oh, okay, I know who this is. Right, right, right. Then I'm like, hey, how you doing, bro? Like, but if I don't, I'm like. Like you look a little sus right now. Like, 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 you know, give me, give me, give me. Like, it's mm-hmm. like five, six feet. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm with you. I don't know. I, you know, I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I guess, end it with this. I, I pray for healing for everyone, man. For real. I mean, I, I, I say that I'm free. Like, I, I'm free. Like, Go to I, therapy. I feel good, man. I feel good about life. I feel good about myself. I feel good about career. I feel good about. Uh, the folks in my in my life, you know, I, I'm I feel good, you know what I'm saying, and I know it's all uh, as a result of you know my relationship with God. I know it's you know He has given me the peace that I that 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 I need. He's given me He's allowed me to heal in my time because we got to still give people time to heal, mm-hmm. um, to be delivered. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You still got to give people time to be delivered. Everybody ain't going to walk in the same speed. Um, and sometimes you got to leave people alone until they do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? They'll leave don't, it be. Don't until keep coming back and ask, what's wrong with you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know. You about to find out what's wrong with <laughs> you. Keep coming back over here. <laughs> I tell you what, you're going to figure it out on your own. You know what I'm saying? And, and come back to me in the 25 years. You know what I mean? But so, yeah, it, I, I, I just pray that, you know, healing for everyone. Uh, Whatever, I, I still stand behind Will Smith. He's still Will Smith. He had a moment. We all get a moment. You know what I'm saying? Saw it. We just happen to see it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They didn't see our moment. You know what I'm saying? Nah. The, the the crazy or the dumb stuff that we done done. We saw his moment, but we still need to rally behind him, pray for his healing, hope that he will go sit down again or with some therapy, and you know, you know, really go make it right with Chris too. Make it right. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about an IG post. Like, go make it right, and um, you know, let's 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 all get along. In the great words of the late Rodney King, man, let's all get along. It's your boy G Way holding it down, G Way podcast, and I'm kicking it alongside with my man Deacon. Dirty. Y'all know what it is. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy G Way holding it down, and I want to thank you all for tuning into this episode of the G Way podcast. Now, be sure to subscribe to this channel that notification bell to stay up on all the latest videos and content that we post and that we just appreciate everything oh and don't forget to follow us on facebook and instagram at gway podcast till then